Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one I'm just gonna want to show off a nifty feature that I wrote in QMK. So say you're like typing something like hello my name is Bob and I like apples and then you're like oh wait I actually don't like apples so what you can do is just uh, delete the last word you typed <laughs> and then you can type in the bananas or whatever and then you can also delete that so what I'm using to delete is actually uh, combos so if you go to QMK uh, website go to the combos section and um, so here I'm basically like pressing the F key and the down key at the same time uh, to delete the last word I typed like so so how does this actually work? So if you're familiar with uh, programming macros, uh, if you're not, you can head over to the macros uh, section of QMK. So it's just down here in the advanced key codes. And then they give you like an example of uh, how to do a macro. And so the good thing with the macro is every key press that you type, you can take a look at it here. First thing we want to do is like we want we want to check if the key code is like any number or any letters and so this is what checks for that now if you're wondering how I got this yeah, so if you just go into a TMK core common and then key code dot H you will see all the key codes that are available and so what we are checking is the ones from here all the way up to here so as you can see here this is the fourth one because it's zero one two three four and then over here they give you like kind of helpers here so 20 this is in hex so this is a 32 in binary so then 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 and so that's how we have uh, 39 in here. So it's basically all the numbers and all the letters. So if we press any of those, we just increase this variable. Uh, this variable, you can put it here. So just at the top of your file, and you'll also need uh, this variable here as well, last word, word length, which is what we'll be using to kind of like delete the keys. If the key codes are like basic letters and numbers, that means you're like typing a word. And if there is something else, that means that you are like fully typed the word. So this could be like the space key or whatever. And um, so then what we want to do is we want to set this last word length equal to this counter. And then set the counter back down to zero. And then the last word length. Um, we'll use this. And either you can either do it in the macro so you can actually create like another macro at the bottom here and then just uh, so run the function something like this uh, this is for bunny hopping by the way <laughs> but it's kind of the same principle but in my case I put it into the combos so in my case I have it inside the process combo invent since I like I like to press like the F and then the down key at the same time to do this and I have it all the way at the bottom since kind of last thing I did. So this is it here. So if pressed, basically if we press this, because you can also run um, code when you release stuff, but it's more instant if you press it. So that's why I like to do that. But make sure you choose like either if pressed or if not pressed, because you don't want it to run twice, basically. <laughs> so what we're doing here is getting this last word and then we're dividing it by two now the reason we're dividing it by two is like i mentioned a second ago these uh events here so every time you type a and release it basically it counts as like two keys so basically if you just type it there's like a event a press the Thing and then event released so you can do something like when you're pressing a you can like register for example and then um, 
do something while it's pressed, then once you release it, you can get the released state from here. So that's why when you press A, it actually goes into this function twice. The first time will be event.pressed, and then the second time it'll be something like this. So I'll show you in my macro. So as you can see here, if I have event.pressed, and then else, so that means it's not pressed, then I just like turn off the bunny hop or whatever. So yeah, that's why you would need to divide it by two. And then, so while this is not zero, uh, just like press the delete button and, um, and then decrease the counter or the, yeah, decrease this uh, variable as well. So this will contain like the full length. So for example, like if I have like one, two, three, four, five. So this will con this will uh, be uh, five basically. And so when I press down, or at the, at the same time I should have pressed it. <laughs> so whatever. It'll just delete it nicely there. So yeah, um, I'm still getting used to the combos. I just kind of like. Uh, implemented them today into my layout so I can do stuff like if I press FD it'll give me brackets and uh, FS will give me square brackets SD will give me the other type of brackets <laughs> then I have like a bunch of other stuff so here is like less than equal sign all that kind of stuff so instead of using my second layer for like all that kind of stuff I want to kind of keep everything on one layer, so I'm just playing around with that. <laughs> and um, yeah, so here you can do tap code 16, then send the KC backspace. Um, if you are using macros, you'll need to throw it into SS string. So you do like, so say for example, this is the Thing here you do send string and then you'll do ss tap because you'd want to tap it only once and you would also do the x and then uh, what was it backspace or something hang on let me check uh yeah bs space so bs space and then obviously you would have this inside. Like this while loop here. So like so. And there you go. So then instead of having like all this here, you would have this as like whatever macro you want. Yeah, so that's how you do it in, instead of doing it in the combos. So yeah, that's just a pretty cool thing that I want to show you guys. It's like fairly easy to do, so you can implement it very quickly in your keyboard. And you can also do like other things. So instead of uh, deleting it, you can just, oops, <laughs> I'm still getting used to the things there so instead of deleting it you can like put it all the way down at the end and then once you do that you can't like delete another word it just doesn't go back like so yeah so yeah that's that uh, thanks for watching and Bye-bye.